Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the brand new Mini Aceman. Now, if you're an avid viewer of the channel, you already know that we featured this car in a full in-depth walk around of the vehicle. If you wanna see that video, the link is in the top of the screen. Today, we're gonna to take this car out for a drive to really see what it's like. But before that, let's just really, really quickly recap what this particular car is and some of the exterior and interior features. So this particular car is the new Mini Aceman SE Sport Level 3. So obviously the first bit, Aceman, it's an Aceman. The Sport bit is the trim level. So you've got this new sort of aggressive styling down the front with the John Cooper Works logo all over the place. It's a little bit more aggressive, slightly more angular in places. The different John Cooper Works alloy wheels as well, as well as a big rear wing and diffuser across the back just give it a really sporty feel the level three is the equipment level which we'll touch on a little bit more when we get inside but let's touch on the looks what do you guys think of it it is very inherently mini isn't it you've got the new design to the lights here the very recognizable shape of the front grille which isn't a grille obviously because the acement is only available as a fully electric vehicle along the side we've got the flush door handles the very typical mini shape to the side profile around the rear we've got a very different look to the rear lights however they again can still be customized inside the car from the fabulous new operating system in there which we'll show you very shortly i really do love the overall look of this car in terms of its size it fits perfectly in between the mini hatch and the mini countryman filling in the gap where there wasn't a vehicle before. It is a great new addition to the lineup and I think it fits that little gap in the market perfectly. The new Mini Aceman's interior follows a very evident design trend with the entire new Mini family. You can jump from the hatch to the Countryman to the Aceman and feel immediately at home. They follow a very, very similar pattern. And I, for one, really, really like it. You've got this new fabric effect all over the dashboard. It's a great thing to look at. There's no speedo directly in front of you. It's now all done on a heads up display. You've then got this gorgeous big OLED touchscreen in the middle, which is the center of everything. All the air conditioning controls are all now on here too. And there's only a few buttons down in the center here. So your power, your driving modes, your gear selectors, etc. obviously not a gear selector, but your drive, neutral, reverse is all done on here. I love this chunky, fat John Cooper Works steering wheel. It's a lovely, lovely thing to behold. We've got some bespoke door handles on the Aceman, which are the real, real telltale difference between the interior of this car and the rest of the range. Now, as I've already mentioned, this is a level three. So we've got a whole host of, of equipment on this car. So Harman Kardon sound system, we've got electric heated, seats we've got a heated steering wheel too we've got a glorious panoramic sunroof with fantastic ambient lighting along the edges these seats are the sports seats and they are fantastic we've got a wireless charging pad down in the center too and a whole host more but if you want a little bit more detail please again use the link in the top of the screen to go and check out our full walk around video but that's enough of that let's now take this out onto the road and see what it's like to drive so welcome then to the driver's seat of the new Mini Aceman. It's a car that I've been quite looking forward to driving ever since it was announced earlier this year and I saw it actually at the Goodwood Festival of Speed because I think in terms of the size this thing is absolutely spot on. It sits perfectly in between the five door hatch and the Countryman and I think for a lot of people this is going to be the car of choice because as I say you've still got that quirky feel good feeling to the way it looks and we've touched on that but again let us know in the comments below what you think of the way it looks but i just think it's going to be a fabulous option for those that want a mini and just want that little bit more space but today's about all how this drives so this is a sport it is an se so it's other than the john cooper works the full fat john cooper works this is the most sporty variant of the new Mini Aceman. So, how does it feel on the road? Well, first things first, we've got around 220 horsepower, a claimed WLTP range of around 250 miles. And well, it certainly is sprightly enough. And obviously being fully electric, 
the power delivery is instant. It's right there immediately. You don't really need to think about it. You don't have to build revs or anything. If you've not driven an electric car, you won't know what I mean. But if you have, you'll know what I mean. It's just, it's instant. And even today on, I mean, what, what temperature is it? It's minus one at the minute. And even though it's cold, the roads are a little bit icy, a little bit horrible, it still puts its power down really, really well and really picks up its feet and just goes. But ultimately, it's about how this drives on a daily basis. How does it feel as a daily driver? Well, for me, I have to say straight away, and if you're an avid viewer of the channel, you'll already know this, I am a huge fan of all of the new Mini family. I think they all look absolutely fantastic. They all drive super, super well. And this is no different. The Aceman to me feels fantastic. It feels really quite grown up actually in the way that it drives. It feels quite sophisticated in the way it drives. The steering response is super, super impressive. You've got great feedback through the wheel, back up through your arms and into your body. It's it's a lovely, lovely thing. We've of course got a whole host of different driving modes which do a load of different things. But in all honesty, just drive it. Just drive it in personal, which is the standard mode. Just start the car up and drive it completely as it is. I don't think you really need to change around with modes. If you want it to obviously feel a little bit more sporty, <clears throat> if we go up to the go-kart mode, it does actually make bit of a noise when you start it and then it then gives you a really cool noise in the car and it also dials up the throttle response the steering gets a little bit heavier and just makes it I don't know just feel a little bit more sprightly but in all honesty you don't need to leave it in core mode leave it in the standard mode and it's I mean, it picks up its feet so well so so well the regen brakes of course you can tailor, tailor them to what you want I always drive in the maximum regen mode by pressing this button down here and dropping it into B because I just like, I like being able to one pedal drive this car. The one pedal driving is super, super easy in this car as well. Just lift off the throttle and the car will, on its own, come to a halt. It is super impressive and to be fair, considering this is the sport, of course, there is a little bit of a hard edge to the ride, but that's because obviously this is sport. And even though this is the sport, as I've mentioned, it's still very comfortable, actually. We're on some really, really horrible B roads at the moment, which, I mean, I've driven cars down here for the last half many years, and I know exactly how bad this road is. But the Aceman is doing a cracking job of ironing out the bumps. It doesn't feel jiggly. It doesn't feel like you're being thrown all over the place. It feels super composed and easy and, and lovely, actually, to drive and string together a load of corners it sort of blends the everyday usability with, a, with with that mini joy that you we've become used to and i think they've really injected a load of that joy into this new product range and now being complete of course with the aceman i think mini now do offer a fabulous range all the way from the hatch to the aceman to the countryman it is a great range of cars and every single one is fantastic and the aceman just completes that lineup beautifully in my opinion for any more information on the new Mini Aceman, or any Mini product for that matter, please use the link in the description of this video to get in contact with your local Sitna Mini retailer. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel for plenty more content to come, and I will see you guys again very, very soon.